Lord, I'm Jaya Abbasita. In the now University of Science Technology, taking up Bachelor of Science Technology Communication Management, I'm here to give you some information about theory of William Wilkins, the anxiety slash uncertainty management theory, or what we call AUM. For more information, let's watch this and enjoy! Anxiety slash uncertainty management theory. This theory focuses on encounter between culture in group and strangers. AUM is a theory developed by Dr. William P. Curricums in attempt to define what makes up effective communication. Curricums research began in 1985 using the existing theories as a starting point, especially the existing research of URT or Uncertainty Reduction Theory done by Berger and Calibers, provided the framework for Gurikuns to take the next step, the AUM. One. Figure 30.1 Schematic of AUM Management Theory The self and the self concept, motivation to interact with strangers, reaction to strangers, social configuration of strangers, situation of proposition, connection to strangers. These are superficial causes, and the basic causes are the uncertainty management, anxiety management, and the motivating process is the mindfulness, and the outcome is the communication effectiveness. Goodicons define the term effective communication to refer to the process minimizing misunderstanding. Effective communication, the result of mindfulness. The theory is designed to explain effective face-to-face -face communication at the box at the far right of the figure represent the goal. Quigons assert that cutting down of effective communication does not necessarily require strangers to draw close, share similar attitude, or even speak with clarity to others. Communication is considered effective if individuals can accurately predict and explain each other's behavior. Mindfulness refers to a conscious choice rather than scripted behavior. It doesn't happen by accident. While, while scripted behavior refers to our act that becomes so habitual that we no longer need to think when doing them. William Hollem, one of Google's mentor at the University of Minnesota, suggests four levels of communication. The first is unconscious incompetence. We are unaware that we are misinterpreting others' behavior. The second is conscious incompetence. We know that we are misinterpreting others' behavior but don't do anything about it. The third is conscious incompetence. We think that about our communication skills and continually working and changing what we do in order to become more effective. And the last is unconscious competence. Our communication skills are already automatic. We develop our communication skills to be the point where we no longer have to think about how we speak or listen. Goodigans define Critics define mindfulness as a stage three, conscious competence. Anxiety and uncertainty, twin offspring of culture variability. Anxiety and uncertainty are the basic causes of common communication failure in intergroup situation. Uncertainty is cognitive, while anxiety is an affective and emotion. Uncertainty is the state of being unsure of something or doubt. And uncertainty includes the doubt we have about our ability to predict the outcome of our encounter with stranger. And anxiety is defined as the feeling of being uneasy, tense, worried, or apprehensive about what might happen or fear. Anxiety and uncertainty isn't always bad. Gurigun insists that the minimal level of both is necessary to keep us from getting lazy, bored, or overly confident in our prediction. Anxiety and uncertainty will motivate us to become good communicator or to communicate better. Managing anxiety and uncertainty when culture class. Guigons lay out 37 separate axioms that he cluster into six categories. Each axiom is specified and variable that affect the level of anxiety and uncertainty. He tried to word each of them in a way that 
suggest what a stranger could do to reduce the fear and ignorance that threaten effectiveness. The first is the self-concept with the action fight. It explains that the greater our self-esteem, the better we can manage our anxiety. Self-concept is all about all relates to our view of ourselves or self-concept. Gurukuns includes personal identity, social identities, and collective of self-esteem in this category. This ten example provide a sample of the multiple factors that the Gurikuns claims affect the anxiety and uncertainty that people experience when a stranger comes into their meds. They continually tied with other communication theory and research demonstrate Gurikuns belief that intercultural communication is an extension of rather than an exemption to. And that's all my presentation. I hope you like it. Thank you.